Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. Today, we're talking those skincare products I use every single day, without fail. I have a lot of different skincare products and ingredients on rotation. I mix and match depending on what my skin needs or what I'm feeling like on that day. However, I think the true value of a skincare product are the ones that you're going to use consistently day in, day out for the best results. And for me, these products I'm talking about today are my daily non-negotiables. Those hero products that deliver for me every single time and I would never be without. So sit back, relax, and let's talk my daily skincare essentials. Now, before we get into this video, just a quick reminder to say, if you enjoy this style of content, where we always take it back to basics, talking about consistency, drugstore, because all of these products are super inexpensive, and getting the very best out of our skincare routines, let me know by reaching down and giving the video a big thumbs up and a like. This is the best way of supporting me as a content creator, because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. I also do use those like indicators as kind of a way of telling what content you guys enjoy enjoy consuming. I always want to put videos out there that you enjoy watching and so this is a really great way of indicating the style of content that you'd like to see more of. Now without further ado let's cut that waffle and tell straight on in. So these are my skincare non-negotiables, those products I use every single day. And this is actually a video that's been requested by a lot of you guys over the past month. I know we can often feel overwhelmed by the sheer volume and choice in the skincare market. And whilst I do like to mix things up, I like to try new products, I like to have things on rotation. There are those core essentials that I always go back to and that's really what I want to showcase in today's video. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice there's not a sunscreen mentioned and that's not because I don't think think sunscreen is a non-negotiable. It absolutely is. But I tend to mix and match my sunscreens based on what my skin needs on that day. So there's a number on rotation, which is why I can't truly say hand on heart, there's one sunscreen I use every single day, which is why it don't, doesn't feature here. So before you all come for me in the comments and read me to Phil for not using a sunscreen every day, those of you that have been with the channel some time know me better than that. I absolutely do. I just kind of mix it. Now, in terms of those products that I use every day, I always kickstart my routine with an effective cleanse using these two products for the body and for the face. Let's start with the body first. Um, I often get asked what body care products I recommend and use, and I don't feature a lot on the channel because honestly, I'm boring. I use the same body care products every single day and I haven't mixed it up for at least like two years. My cleansing oil of choice is this. This is the Q&A Vitamin A, C and E shower oil. This is divine. Whether you use it in the shower or the bath, either is absolutely fine and it gives you the most luxurious cleanse you will ever experience. The scent alone takes you to like another plane, another level. It is so gorgeous and it's eight pounds. One of these will last me like six weeks, so it's really budget friendly and inexpensive. And with shower oils being a huge trend in 2024, don't get sucked into thinking you need to spend bougie and luxury prices to get the best. This will give you the best body cleanse you've ever experienced, at a fraction of the cost of its luxury competitors, with the most divine smell too. I cannot recommend this enough. They also do a vitamin C body cream that I use after this, also amazing. The reason I don't showcase more body care on the channel is because I'm pretty boring. I'm pretty basic and predictable. It's usually Q&A and this shower oil is my daily go-to without fail. For the face, I always use this. This is the Mad About Skin Gentle Jelly Cleanser from my own skincare range. I created this because I kind of wanted a one-size-fits-all cleanser. Cleansing doesn't need to be complex and I think skincare brands want to overcomplicate it so we'll buy multiple different products and spend our hard-earned coin. You don't need to. You can do budget-friendly drugstore cleansers. They work just as well. And I created this to kind of do it all. If you're wearing multiple layers of water-resistant SPF, this will tackle it. If you're wearing waterproof mascara, this will get rid of it. It's a double cleanse in one, but it works for all skin types, no matter if you have a dry skin type or like me, super oily and acne prone. This will just leave your skin perfectly prepped for the rest of your serums and lotions to follow. For me, this just works so well that I use it every single day without fail, and it's become my go-to. If you want to try this out, I should say, I'm going to bring back the YouTube discount code, which will allow you to get 15% off this if you did want to try it. That's linked in the description box below, as are all the products mentioned today. And yeah, like I say, if you wanted to give this a go, now might be a good chance with 15% off, but this, every single day, finds itself applied to my face. For 
other products. I've got quite a lot to get through. So in again, in no particular order, this is The Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. I've been using this for the past 12 months. And if you want proof of that, you can see multiple different shorts videos where I did like an update at the 30 day mark, the 60 day mark, and then the 90 day mark. Well, we're now like 365 days later, still going strong in my routine. I flick this through my brows on a morning and an evening. I have noticed such a difference. My brows feel fuller. I got that volume back, but I also find they're a little bit easier to tame than they used to be. I'd always have, I'd wake up and the, you know, the brows were all over the place. And I wake up and it's kind of doing what I want them to do. And I honestly credit this product. It's small, but it's mighty. They do like a duo set at the moment, which is the one I always buy because you get a saving by getting the two in one. And this works really, really well for me. And I'll, again, I'll link that alongside the units, the single unit option in the description box below if you want to check it. But this, I think of all the lash and brow serums and gels I've ever tried is hands down the best. I, I recommend it to everyone. You'll see the order you're doing a lot of promotion and sponsorship of this product at the moment, which might make some of you a little sceptical and think, oh, are people just fangirling about this because it's been bought and paid for? Well, you guys know me better than that. I don't do sponsored content here on the channel. So these are honestly all been bought with my own hard-earned coin. And if you want proof, there's plenty of videos that I've done documenting my journey with this. And hopefully you'll be able to see the difference in my lashes and brows too. But never without this such such a great option and um, for serums i've got three that i use every single day the rest of my routine is made up of things that i use interchangeably i might go for one product one day another the other but these three will always find their way in so this is the madagascar centella skin 1004 tone brightening capsule ampule i hate the name i don't think it really tells you anything about the product I hate the length of the title and I think it's possibly the most boring packaging in the world. But if you put all of that aside, what you've got here is a wonderful tranexamic acid infused serum. Tranexamic acid is one of those ingredients you're going to want to use daily in the long term for the best results. But having used this product consistently for the past year, my skin is less irritation prone, it's less inflammation prone, and I get a lot less hyperpigmentation than I used to. And I honestly credit all of that to being consistent with my tranexamic acid. There are other tranexamic acid serums on the market, but the reason I like this, 100 ml of product, so you get a load of product for your money. It's super affordable and it's packed for that centella too. So it comes, it soothes, it, it does everything you want it to do. And I say, if you're like me and you've got adult acne, even in my case, approaching 40, but you might have it in your 30s, 50s, whatever, get this. Because tranexamic acid will dial back the rate of those breakouts. It'll make sure that they heal in the shortest possible time. And I just wish that I discovered tranexamic acid years ago when I was struggling to get on top of my breakouts and it was really shattering my skin confidence. This has worked wonders for me and is the reason I am never, ever without it. Um, for vitamin C's, I I've been on a bit of a journey with vitamin C's. I've tried lots of different ones. I think every vitamin C has its own benefits and its drawbacks. However, there's one vitamin C out there that I can genuinely say is ding, 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 10 out of 10, like the ultimate, the best. And it's this. This is the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow. I use this every day because it delivers. You get the antioxidant protection of that vitamin C. It brightens the skin, evens out the skin tone. Take it from someone who's used at least 50 different vitamin Cs in their skincare life. This is the best by far. It's made fresh every single week, so it won't come oxidized. You're getting a fresh bottle if you buy direct from Geek and Gorgeous, which honestly I would encourage everyone to do. And you get some extra antioxidants in here too. This, this is wonderful. You can keep it in the fridge, but because it's so fresh, you don't actually have to. So if you're someone that knows you're going to be keeping your vitamin C on the bathroom counter, opt for this because that freshness will mean it will last the three months that you're probably going to take to get through this and it won't be oxidized. I love it. And like I say, there are plenty of different vitamin C's on the market, but when it comes to perfect price point, perfect formulation and the best when it comes to freshness, I just came to the conclusion, why would I reach for anything else? This, this is where it's at. Finally, on the serum from, this is the Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. So I actually use this alongside the Ordinary Azureline Solution, which I should have. I don't know why I don't have that now. I think it's in the bathroom somewhere. But these two together, 
every single day in my skincare routine for that like perfect reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, especially around the crow's feet, the 11s is. Um, the Azure line will work like, it's called Botox in a bottle, but it'll work to smooth out dynamic fine lines and wrinkles. And the Matrixel in here, alongside the Humectants, are just gonna plump everything out to give you like 10 years off your skin age profile without having to do a whole lot of work. Yes, results are temporary, but I think we all love a quick fix to boost our skin confidence on a morning and get us feeling our skin best this is just one of the best ways of doing it. I love it so much that I tried to match my t-shirt to it today. I don't know how much success I had with that. Let Judge me in the comments with what you think. But yeah, this is wonderful. And if you want to know how to use this alongside your Azure line, I covered that in a separate video, which I'm going to leave a link to up there. Definitely one to check out. I yeah, Since I discovered this, which is relatively recently, I've never skipped a day. My under eye in particular absolutely loves it. Now, I've got two creams, I'm um, creams and serums. In this case, it's a cream slash serum hybrid. This is the Allies of Skin Multipeptides and Growth Factors Advanced Lifting Serum. So I started using this six months ago because I wanted to see what growth factors could do for my skin. Lots of studies out there show how beneficial they can be in lifting, tightening up the skin, and I've definitely noticed an improvement in that firmness. So I'm never without this and I've used it consistently as a bit of a trial to see what results I could get. Recently though, back in stock, <laughs> back in stock is the Stratia Interface Serum, which I think is an exact dupe for this. This is like 170 pounds, it works, it's worth every penny, but not everyone's gonna have that budget to spend. And so the Stratia Interface is a great option if you're looking for growth factors on a budget. So once this is done, I'm probably gonna switch to the Stratia Interface Serum, now it's back in stock. It's the same rich velvety cream like serum hybrid. It's got those growth factors, additional peptides. It, it's kind of doing everything. So yeah, I don't think I've skipped a day when it comes to my growth factors for the past six months and I don't plan on anytime soon, but I might switch it up to a more affordable option. And that Stratia interface is linked in the description. Get it while you can, because usually when this is back in stock, it flies off the shelf like that. So I stock up and I'm gonna, probably gonna take this through for the next six months for a bit of a more budget friendly growth factors option. Finally, let's talk about this little pot of joy. Every day for the past three, four months, I've been using this and my skin just loves it. This is the Face Facts Wonder Cream. It's designed to be like a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream dupe, which it definitely is. And I featured it in my recent dupes video, which again, I'm gonna leave a link to up there. Definitely check that out and let me know if you guys want more dupes content, you know, affordable alternatives to some of the luxury items, let me know. Cause that video seems to be doing really, really well. So happy to make it a series, but this, Everything, it's got a touch of vitamin C, it's deeply nourishing and hydrating. Um, because of the derivative nature of the vitamin C in here, you can use it alongside that C glow, which is how I do it on the morning. And yeah, my skin drinks this up, it plumps it out, and it's just the perfect lightweight moisturizer. Now, if you've got a really dryness prone skin type, this might not be enough. But for us oily folk out there, or combination oily folk, the one a lightweight touch of additional hydration, this is it, and I think it's like £4.99. It's so good. They do a fragrance and an unfragranced version, so whatever your preference is. I go for the fragrance because I love the scent. My skin drinks this up. And like I say, every single day without fail. So whilst this might seem like a bit of a whistle-stop tour, I um, definitely wanted to just take the time to showcase those almost skincare essentials that for me are non-negotiable in my daily skincare routine. There are hundreds of different products. You can see them all on the shelf behind me here that I love and use very frequently. But these are the products that I can genuinely say, hand on heart, I use every single day in my skincare routine. Sound up in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on anything mentioned today, wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care, bye.